Okay, today in class we talked a little bit about properties of translations. Okay, remember, a translation is a type of transformation, and that uh, this type of transformation, a translation, slides a figure along a straight line. And we'll talk about a couple other properties here, but first let's talk about what do we, what do we want you to do when we ask you to translate a figure. If you look at the problem here, we ask you to graph the image, or graph the image of parallelogram ABCD after a translation of five units to the right and two units up. That's actually pretty easy to do. When we talk about moving this entire um, image here, this, this parallelogram, five units to the right and two units up. The easiest way to do this is you take each one of the vertices, each one of the points, and you move it five units to the right and two units up. So if we start with point D, and you notice the coordinates of D are a zero, negative three, and if we move it five units to the right, the x value would become five. And if we move it two units up, the y value would become negative one. So we'll call that point D prime. So we move point D five units to the right, two units up. Let's do the same thing with point C. Right now, point C has coordinates of negative three, negative three. When we move it five units to the right, it's going to be at two and then two units up, and it'll be at negative one. And we'll call that point C prime. Same thing with B. Right now we have coordinates of neg negative two, one. When we go five units to the right, one, two, three, four, five, and two units up, and that puts us right here, and we'll call that point B prime. And lastly, point A one more time. It has coordinates right now of negative 5, 1. We go 5 units to the right, puts us on our x, excuse me, our y axis. And 2 units up would put us right here. And we'll call that point A prime. If we connect our four points, you notice that our translation, the image, has the exact same shape, size, in orientation. And that's one of the key components of a translation, is that your image is congruent, it maintains its size, it maintains its shape, and it maintains its orientation. That would be an example of a translation, which is one of the types of transformations we're going to be talking about over the next couple weeks.